Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and when the power goes out, and then your cell phone battery finally dies, all is not necessarily lost if you have a solar-powered phone battery charger. Epic Review Guys. We have reviewed several battery backup packs for phones, and they will keep your phone going for a while, but if the power's out for more than a day or two, even they're going to run out of power. This backup battery, however, is charged by the solar cell here on the front. It will charge the battery up that's internal to this, and you can in turn use that to charge up your phone, your tablet, your other devices. This is from a company called Win Solil. They asked if I'd be interested in taking a look at it, and we've got three kilowatts of solar panels up on the roof of the house here. Anything solar interests me, so I asked them to send one over. It goes for about $30, and I'll put a link to it down below this video. What I'm most curious about this is it, to get a realistic idea of how long it takes to charge up this internal battery enough so that it can actually give at least like a half charge to your phone. Here's what you get in the package. The device itself wrapped in rubber to keep it safe. A little on the hefty side, it's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. That's the reason for that. That's um, more than most smartphones would need for a single full charge. So you could probably charge two phones off of this and they give you two ports so you can charge up two phones at the same time. Again, the issue is, will this have produced enough power? It, it seems to be well built and sturdy. I like that they weatherproofed this, um, wrapped it in rubber with some shock absorbent stuff on the side, and the ports are covered up by little rubberized strips that you can pop back into place. The instructions, I will read through these and see what kind of estimate they give on a reasonably sunny day, how much charge to expect to get, say, leaving it out in the dashboard of your car for a few hours. I think that's probably the most realistic use situation, because the other, the other use for this, I know, um, we have several of the portable backup battery chargers that we reviewed, and we keep them in the car. The kids use them and then they use them again, <laughs> and then they use them, and they never bring them in the house to recharge them. I have to remember to do that. So I thought, well, what if they got completely discharged, we're out on a long trip, now nah, what are you gonna do? Well, something like this would come in handy if it will charge up fast enough. Here are the other pieces that come in the package. A little bit on the short side cable that um, has a micro USB connector. Comes with this clip, so you can clip it onto your belt, I guess, if you're out hiking or your backpack or something, so it'll hang in the sun and charge up. That's another good use for this I hadn't thought of, is out camping with your phone. And then they give you two adapters, so you can connect it to, I think this is the old style um, iPhone connector and the new style. Okay, I've read through the instructions. I'm a little confused on a couple points with this. By the way, it comes fully charged. Let me show you the lights, the indicators, and the ports here. Under this little rubberized panel, there's one USB port for charging. On the other side, there's another USB port for charging. And above that is a micro USB port. That means you can actually charge this up from the power from the wall when you have that power. And then here's the power button. These light up to show you how much, well, to what extent the battery's charged. So they sent it to me mostly charged. And when it is um, actively using the sunlight to recharge this battery, another indicator light will come on. So it's time to take this out in the sun and see what happens. Now my questions are still how much charge you can get from a few hours of sunlight in a day. And I realized I have another question after reading the instructions. If this gets completely drained down to empty and the sun comes out, it's a sunny day, you put this in the sun, can you run your completely dead phone from this. In other words, does it produce enough power ongoing to run your average phone or do you have to let it charge up this battery and then draw the battery into your phone to get it to work? So I think it would be really useful if you could just sort of bypass both this battery and your cell phone's battery and just plain run your phone right off of this so long as it's pointed into direct sunlight. So I'll have to try that out too. And I may have to charge up several of our phones here in the house to this to completely drain this because I really do want to see whether you can get this in the bright sun and actually run your phone off of it directly. So that may take a couple days. I'll be back with part two of this then. I did want to today though announce who we're sending out the Kiss Sticks Chapstick sets to for Valentine's Day from a couple videos back. So we have the Kiss Sticks Fire and Ice and this is going to one of our viewers Lauren Deluxe, and the 
strawberry and chocolate set is going to Kevin Sosa. They both commented on the video. You have been selected. I will send you a message in YouTube. And if you can get back to me with your address, we'll get these in the mail to you before Valentine's Day. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.